<laughs> Three, two, one, go. Hey everybody, it's Hannah. I'm going to be doing the course demo for the 11U, 13U, 15U Amateur and Masters course for October 9th. Not October 9th, I'm seeing this. Obstacle 1. Obstacle, well, clear, and then obstacle. Three. Obstacle five. Obstacle six. Okay, cool. Everybody, this is going to be the walkthrough for the 11 U, 13 U, 15 U, Masters and Amateurs course. There's going to be a few changes, but I'll let you know as we get to the obstacle. So obstacle one is the tire hop. You can use every quad step. The tires are going to be off limits, so they will be marked. Your halfway point is once you get to this third quad step. So once you pass this plane, you'll get your halfway point all the way to this apron. Point B, which will turn into point A for the Yelmstead Insurance Space Rodeo. So you get this bar to this bar, which is your halfway point, the Space Invader, and this stuff. If you are 15U, amateur, or masters, you will have this rope thingy right there. To your point B, which turns into point A. Obstacle three, the double trouble slack line. So, we've got the first slack line. Uh, you are allowed posts. So, post to post, slack line, all the way to this blue bar, which is your halfway point. 
This post is also in play. This orange pad right here is not allowed. It will be marked day of. All the way to this orange pad right here, which is point B. Obstacle four, broken axle. You are allowed to use all of the new beams. Any contact with these tires will be considered a fail. Halfway point is gonna be when you touch this blue beam right here. You are allowed to use both these work walls to get to this orange path. Use this rope to swing out to your point B, which then turns into point A of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. You are allowed to use all three of these stars. The third star is your halfway point. Um, no mounting hardware or straps, obviously. So from this third ninja star, you will be going to the captain's wheel. I like to call the breadstick wheel. Looks like all bread breadsticks, don't you think? <laughs> Over to this lache bar. You may use this post to get down this balance beam onto point B, this ice cube right here, which turns into point A, a plumber's crack. So for 11U and 13U, you will have one rolling log, tilting rolling log. Um, 15U, amateur and masters, will have two, as you see demonstrated right here. Thank you, Dusty. Halfway points gonna be when you cross this halfway. So basically once you pass this wood or once you make contact with that second beam, it's the second blue pipe. You will get your full points when you hit this orange pad right here, which turns into point A for Rockabye Binky. So you are allowed to use this trapeze bar, this trapeze bar to get through the salmon ladder which is in the first cradle here. Cradle, welcome my baby. <laughs> this is also gonna be your halfway point where you will go to the Santa Lada bar in the cradles, which is on the ground now, but you get the picture. So here to here, to the squirrels. When you dismount to this orange pad right here, that will be your point B and your point A of Sidewinder. So for a Sidewinder, you get the set of squirrels here. The Sidewinder, which as you can see, Spins. So, from Sidewinder, which you will go to the green thing. I don't have a name yet, sorry. <laughs> this is also going to be your halfway point. We'll use the next green dismount where you'll get full points on this orange pad right here, which will take you into our ninth obstacle. All right, obstacle nine. So, you're going to start on your point A, this orange pad. You are allowed to use this post to get up to these two rings. You can use only the rings to traverse across the doorknobs over to this orange pad. If you are 15U, amateur, or masters, you will only be able to use the doorknobs. The rings will not be there. Obstacle 10 is the Jack Sparrow run. So point A is gonna be this box right here. You are allowed to use all four of these boxes any contact with this red pad or that red pad is going to be considered a fail. Look at your halfway points. Once you touch this gray pad right here, this whole blue pad right here is going to be a no-fail zone. So if you go from here, jump to here, you'll be good all the way to the buzzer. I'm just going to end your time. If you do step over here or to this side, that will be considered a fail. Your time limit is four minutes. Good luck.